Welcome back students. As a school student, you have to write a letter, often called an application, to your principal on several occasions and for numerous purposes like making inquiries uh, about courses and their requirements, getting admission, applying for a leave or an exemption, highlighting a problem, seeking a solution to it. Uh, requesting a change of subject, class or section, seeking permission to pass, participate in an event or a tour, making complaints, offering explanation or apologies, giving suggestions and submitting a report etc. So letter to principal is really very important. So let's learn it today. Let's first understand the format of letter to principal. As I have uh, told you earlier also that uh, letter uh, are written left side aligned. So this letter would also be uh, aligned to the left of your paper. And first of all, you are supposed to write sender's address. And uh, in letter to principal, sender's address can be your roll number, your class and your school name also. Or otherwise, if some address is given in your statement, that address you can use as sender's address. Uh, like we wrote in our previous letter, that is a house number and then some sector, then in next line, colony name and in next line you can write city address that means that way also you can write or if nothing is given in your exam you can write examination hall abc also if nothing is given in your statement all right after this sender's address again you will leave one line gap and then uh, after uh, you will write date and uh, after date again one line gap and you will write the address of the receiver and in this case the receiver is principal so you will write first of all the post along with definite article that is the principal and do remember children uh, p of the principal would be capital one and in the next very line you will write name of the school Next line you will write address. Address I mean that you will write the city. Then one line gap and you will write your subject. And as I earlier also I told you that you have to describe your subject very briefly and accurately. That is what is the purpose of writing your letter and it is usually underlined or highlighted and in subject uh, you have to means while writing subject the first word of uh, first letter of every word you have to make capital then again one line gap and you will write uh, salutation sir and in some cases you can write dear sir also as it is your principal and you know your principal so you can write dear sir also then one line gap and you will start body of your letter and in body of your letter first of in first paragraph what you will do you will introduce yourself uh, means like you will give your class your section and uh, these details um, and the purpose of your writing you will mention uh, in the first paragraph which is introductory paragraph then comes the second paragraph of your letter and uh, that is called as explanatory paragraph here you will explain the purpose of your writing and uh, the third paragraph is called as concluding paragraph and here you will make a request for some necessary action something like that and uh, you can show some hope also in the concluding paragraph then children this completes the body of your letter and after that again you will leave one line gap and you will write one expression of gratitude like I shall be thankful to you, I shall be obliged, I shall be uh, grateful to you like this expression of gratitude you will write again one line gap and you will write yours obediently see it is letter to principal so we can write because we are obedient to our principal so we can write yours obediently 
but yours sincerely and yours faithfully they are equally correct so it is your choice either go with obediently you can go with sincerely also or you can go with faithfully also next very line see here you need to take care in this line only that y of yours will be capital and next word if it is obediently o would be small if it is sincerely s would be small and if it is faithfully f would be small then next very line you are supposed to write your name if some name is given in your statement fine write that one if no name is given then you can write x y z or something and in next very line you are supposed to give your class your roll number means the whole identity of yours you have to mention here all right children this completes the format of letter writing then comes some guidelines which are really necessary means you have to take care while writing your letter of these points first point is that you should use a polite formal but positive tone while writing your letter because you are talking to your principal through your letter so you can't be informal you can't afford to be informal so um, but uh, at the same time means uh, you are uh, becoming formal but at the same time you have to show a politeness in your tone also so do, do take care of these points next is that you should be sure of uh, the purpose of writing means it should not be that you are writing without any purpose purpose of writing should be clear in your mind and you should collect all the necessary information which you have to write or mention in your letter beforehand means it should be with you while you are writing and that information should be authenticated one next point is that you should write complete sentences full fledged sentences means they should not be any slang or offensive language means you should not uh, go for the shortcuts or the phrases and then you uh, you imagine that maybe principal would understand see formal language means you have to complete your sentence formally and no slang or offensive language or shortcuts should be there means you can't write the contracted forms or something like that you have to write full fledged next is you should write in clear and legible handwriting do take care because many a time children they write letter to their principal and that letter is horrible means no one can even uh, read that letter so do take care that you are writing to your principal so it should be at least legibly written next point is that you should yes this is very important one you need to take care of this that and as class 12 students it is most important it should not be that uh, letter you are writing it is full of errors or something so when you are uh, going to uh, submit that letter to your principal then you should check the, that letter for errors in vocabulary you should check that my vocabulary is correct it is formal and it should not be uh, dictating one it should be polite and then you should definitely go for a check for your spellings you should have an eye at the grammar and punctuation also so these are the points which are really must that before submitting your letter you must check all these points in your letter so after knowing the format and important guidelines now we are uh, means uh, we have reached to a point where we can check we can have a look at one example so that we can also frame a good letter so let us see this example the statement is write a letter to the principal of your school to complain against rising trend of bullying in your school you are riddhi or rishab of class 12 see children here no address is given but they have given you name so you can't directly go for examination hall or something when no name is given even then you go for examination hall or abc city because then in last you put your signature as xyz but here you are having name so you have to frame one address on your own so 
uh, I have told you the uh, format of uh, framing the address that is first you write house number then you write some sector then next very line you can write colony name and next very line you can write city name so this way you can frame uh, one address but it should not be your own address or something definitely it should be the supposed one so here I have written house number 66 sector 21 housing board colony Delhi then one line gap and you will write date and the date is written in British style and you will write 8 May 2020 then first line the, again there is one line gap you will uh, leave and uh, the uh, very first you will write the uh, post of your uh, person to whom you are writing letter and here it is letter to principal so the post would be the principal with P capital and next very line name of school see I have written first letter capital you can see that sent S capital Joseph J capital school S capital same way you have to write next very uh, line you will write address of school that is I have written Delhi address means we have to write the place that is the city and then after completing see sender's address receiver's address I have made it three lines and same I expect from you also it should be ideally it is written in three lines so after this receiver's address you are supposed to leave one line gap and I have written my subject and I time and again I am telling you that subject should be very precise one so see here what I have written my statement said that write a letter to principal of your school to complain against rising trend of bullying in your school so I framed a subject from this statement and I wrote complaint against bullying so here this is my subject the precise one the brief one see complaint C capital against a capital and bullying B capital same thing you have to take care after this again one line gap and you will write sir or you can write dear sir even then one line gap and the body of your letter will start see I time and again I tell you that first let uh, first paragraph the of the body of letter is always introductory one but it doesn't mean that straight away you write your name I am so and so person see name is meant for I know in many of the books they uh, those publishers they have started letter with name but name is not uh, supposed to be written here see if name is given in your statement it is meant for signature purpose only it is not to be written here in the introduction introduction or identify yourself means give rest of the identifications uh, of yours so you are giving you are identifying yourself as a student of school of you are telling your class then you are telling your purpose so this much is sufficient you need not to mention your name here so I have started that as a student of class 12 I want to register a complaint see how I have uh, merged my subject with my uh, identification I want to register a complaint against some students of my class who have become habitual of bullying owing to the meek acceptance of their bullying by their victims they are now in the habit of troubling any and every soft target that comes their way so why I give you example because I want to show you that this is your standard as class 12 student so at least you should write this type of vocab this type of sentences that's why I give you example when I say that example is for your reference it means that you check your standard it should be at least up till this yes definitely uh, today's generation is much more intelligent than their teachers so you can definitely frame a letter better than this but at least this much be your uh, this this much uh, should be your standard so do take care while writing your letter it should not be childish one do take care all right this is the first paragraph
then the next paragraph which is called as explanatory para so let us see that here in this explanatory para what do we do we develop our thought and we tell in detail that uh, what type of uh, means we give the details of the issue we are writing about and we say how it affects you or the other people so such type of detail we give here let us see uh, what uh, how i have developed i have started like last week uh, they picked up a small boy from kindergarten wing and removed his school belt and tried to pull down his shorts. Unashamed of their act, they started laughing loudly even though the victim began to cry so i am telling the principal first in first paragraph i told the principal that so and so problem is there in the school and now here i am developing and i am telling the principal the severity of the problem that how serious the problem has become so that i am telling by quoting some instances first instance i quoted that last week they picked up a boy and how badly they behaved with that boy though the boy started crying they started laughing on that boy and next again i am developing means again i am quoting and uh, because i have quoted one particular instance now i am giving in general that what other things they do in order to do bullying so that i am telling pulling the ponytails of girls walking past them then punching younger boys for no reason and tearing pages from the notebooks of others has become a routine with them so now i am going into the details of the problem first i quoted one particular instance then i am giving in general that what other things they do so this is the second paragraph the explanatory one now comes my third paragraph which is concluding paragraph where i am supposed to make a request where i am supposed to make a, a, a request for some action or i can ask a permission an inquiry a solution to the problem a consideration of uh, uh, the suggestion I gave or a problem means such are the things which we uh, write in the concluding paragraph. In this particular case, uh, I am writing to the principal that it is high time a strict action must be taken against them. They should be made to realize that we live in a civil society where one must have regard for others. So, see my uh, language again it is should be i am suggesting but i can't dictate to the principal that you go and you do this thing so i am just suggesting that something like this should happen bullying in any form is unethical and unlawful and i am telling the principal that uh, the right being the uh, writer of this letter i know that it is unethical it is unlawful so that's why i am informing you and you should take some action against such boys and now again i am emphasizing my point by showing a hope that i am sure that a prompt and effective action would be taken to curb this nuisance so i have uh, written one hope also so this completes my concluding paragraph and then after one line gap i can write uh, one sentence uh, which is a sentence of gratitude and that is i shall be grateful to you and after this again one line gap and i will write my uh, complimentary close and that is yours sincerely y of yours is capital and sincerely s is small and because name was given in my statement so i have to put my signature with that name only so i wrote uh, in next line i wrote the name riddhi and then the um, uh, other details of the student who is writing i have given other details by writing the class you can write roll number also so this completes the way you should frame your letter this is a full-fledged letter to give you an idea that how your letter should look like next so the next and the last slide 
carries one practice exercise for you so that you can frame your own letter and you can check that where your standard falls and in case of any trouble you can definitely ask me contact me uh, all right let us read the statement you are mohan or meena of class 12b mk memorial school faridabad so here every detail is given to you you are supposed to use this detail in your letter write a letter to the principal of your school drawing his attention to the use of motor bikes by underage students in commuting to school so now you know that what is uh, the topic you are writing about that you are concerned about that underage students means driving by underage students and or driving motor bikes by underage students and see how you are going to develop it is uh, totally your idea you write on your own and then uh for your doubts you can definitely uh contact me and in my next uh, video i will definitely let you know that how you should frame this very particular letter till that time you frame your own letter so that you can check with uh my letter that how you should write your letter good day for today